The cast of The Virginian achieved their greatest popularity when their series first aired in the early 1960s, following which the names of the actors involved with the title became a symbol of the Wild West televising. This is due to the fact that the show was a pioneer in its own way, with a great contribution to the international growth of interest in the Western genre, which was barely heard of when the project began. The Virginian was a Western TV show with James Drury playing the lead role. It ran on NBC from 1962 to 1971, totaling 249 episodes across nine seasons. Drury had originally portrayed the same character in 1958's failed pilot that was aired as one of the episodes of the NBC summer series entitled Decision. Filmed in color as rather ahead of its time, The Virginian was the world's first 90-minute episode Western TV series. Set before Wyoming gained the status of a U.S. state in 1890, the series was somewhat built on Owen Wister's Western novel entitled The Virginian, Horseman of the Plains, published in 1902. The series follows the adventures of the titular character, the trusted and reliable foreman of the Shiloh Ranch in Wyoming. Along with his associates, the Virginian works to protect the ranch from threats and uphold justice throughout the surrounding area. He is accompanied by his two faithful sidekicks, Trampas and Steve Hill, as well as a number of friendly townsfolk, including the local sheriff and doctor. Throughout the series, the Virginian and his associates face off against a number of villains, from outlaws to land grabbers, in order to protect the ranch and bring justice to the Wild West. The series is notable for its moral and ethical themes, as justice and fairness are always upheld by the main characters. The Virginian was a critical and commercial success, whose high production values and strong storytelling helped to establish it as a cornerstone of the Western genre. It was nominated for several Emmy Awards and spawned several spin-offs, such as The Young Writers. Despite its age, The Virginian remains a beloved and influential series and continues to be enjoyed by fans of Westerns and classic television. Its portrayal of the American West and the people who live there is rich and accepted as largely authentic, and its themes of loyalty, friendship, and love continue to resonate with viewers today. With its grand finish in 1971, at which point the name of the show was changed to The Men from Shiloh for the ultimate season, The Virginian embedded itself in the hearts of many viewers around the world, especially in the U.S. The success of the series gave its stars an open road towards fame that hadn't existed before. And from that point on, the audience retained a great interest in the actors' lives. With just about 60 years since the show's airing, having gone to the wind, those who remember the honorable Shiloh Ranch employees are left wondering where life took their portrayers. James Child Drury Jr. was born on the 18th of April, 1934, in New York City, USA. He began his acting career in the early 1950s, primarily by portraying a hospital attendant in 1955's Blackboard Jungle, for which he went uncredited. Drury appears in a number of prominent television shows and films, including The Tenderfoot, The Great Sioux Massacre, and the adventures of Jim Bowie. He was a versatile and talented actor, able to portray a wide range of characters with ease, as evidenced by the 73 acting credits under his belt. James was recognized across the audiences for his rugged good looks and a strong on-screen presence, with the ability to convey a sense of strength and determination in his performances. Throughout his career, Drury guest starred in several popular television shows, including Men Into Space, the Rebel, It Takes a Thief, and Kung Fu, The Legend Continues. He also realized a number of important roles, such as George Dodds in the 1960s Pollyanna, as well as Billy Hammond in Ride the High Country from 1962. As for James's most successful portrayal, the titular character of The Virginian, he was known for his quick thinking and fast draw with a gun, seen by many around the world as a true embodiment of the Wild West. Throughout the series, the Virginian faced a variety of challenges, including wrestling, cattle drives, and disputes with rival ranchers. He also grappled with personal challenges, including his love for a woman named Molly Wood and his friendship with a man named Trampas, who was somewhat jealous of the Virginian's status as the judge's favorite. Despite these challenges, he remained loyal to Judge Henry and the ranch and was ultimately able to overcome adversity and prove himself as a true hero. His strong sense of loyalty and determination made him a beloved and enduring character and helped to establish him as a cornerstone of the Western theme production. 
In addition to his acting career, Drury was also a skilled horseman and a passionate advocate for the Western genre. He was inducted into the Western Performers Hall of Fame in 1991 and became the recipient of the Golden Boot Award in 1995 for his contributions to the popularization of Western culture. James continued to act until his death on the 6th of April 2020 at the age of 85. His last significant role was that of Ranger Captain in an episode of Tales of the Cap Gun Kid that aired in 2012, while he also played the minor part of Buffalo Bill Cody in the video entitled The Cartoon Cowboys Spirit of the Alamo, released in 2015. He died a widower nearly a year after his third wife, Carl Ann Head, had lost her life on the 25th of August 2019. Despite his passing, Drury's legacy as a talented and versatile actor lives on, and he will be remembered for his contributions to the entertainment industry. His sons James and Timothy, as well as stepchildren Rhonda Brown, Gary Shero, and Frederick Drury, made the actor a happy old man, with four grandchildren and some great-grandchildren as well. It was stated by the New York Times that the actor passed in his home, although the circumstances of his death are yet to be disclosed by his assistant, Karen Lindsay. The news agency further revealed that the actor loved doing his own stunts, which didn't always go according to plan. James had the misfortune of being punched right in the face with full force one time while on set, as a seemingly out-of-nowhere fist was swung by a stuntman he was working with. Drury spoke of the extra hit, which was not in the script and hit me in the temple like a Missouri mule. Due to the massive popularity achieved by the role, James eventually made peace with the fact that he would always be recognized as the Virginian throughout the rest of his life. He said, The Virginian was an indelible character. I had a great deal of issues getting past being seen as the man in the black hat. Aside from the main character, the ladies of the 1970s had it out for one more cast member of the show, none other, of course, than the trusty aide and ranch hand simply known as Trampas. Doug McClure, who portrayed the character, is the only one to have appeared in all 249 episodes of the show alongside Drury. He was born Douglas Osborne McClure on the 11th of May 1935 in Glendale, California. His acting career took off in 1956 with the uncredited role of a soldier in Friendly Persuasion. His breakthrough came a year later when he played Gans Taylor and subsequently Lieutenant Lossier in two episodes of Death Valley Days. The year 1960 brought him the most significant role prior to his longest screen presence, in the form of Jed Sills, in the TV series entitled Checkmate, in which he stayed for two years and appeared in 70 episodes. Finally, in 1962, McClure got to portray Trampas, a skilled and competent cowboy who is responsible for many of the day-to-day -day tasks on the ranch. He's a loyal and reliable member of the Shiloh team, often called upon to handle difficult or dangerous situations, Despite his rough exterior, Trampas is also shown to have a kind and compassionate side, having frequently been seen aiding others, whether it be by offering advice or lending a helping hand. Despite his loyalty and bravery, however, Trampas is also shown to have a reckless streak, prone to making impulsive decisions that sometimes get him into trouble. This lack of control is often at odds with the Virginian's more measured and level-headed approach, and as a result, the two frequently clash. Over the course of the series, Trampas undergoes significant development and change. He becomes more responsible and mature, gradually learning to temper his impulsive nature with wisdom and caution. This growth is symbolized later on by the fact that Trampas is often seen wearing a black suit, which signifies his newfound sophistication and refinement. Despite his personal growth, Trampas remained a loyal and dedicated member of the Shiloh team continuing to play a key role in helping the Virginian and his friends to protect the ranch and its way of life. He's a dynamic and well-developed character, and his journey from a reckless cowboy to a mature and responsible individual is a key part of the series' overarching narrative. Having realized his life's work by the end of 1971, McClure went on to star in many more titles, up to a total of 104, with the last being his presence as Stuart Copage in an episode of One West Waikiki in 1996, actually released after his death. McClure passed away on the 5th of February 1995 from lung cancer, a month after collapsing from a stroke on the set of the aforementioned show. Doctors found that the disease had spread to the actor's bones and liver, and he remained in their care in a desperate attempt to deal with the symptoms until succumbing to them. 
The character Judge Henry Garth was initially played by Lee J. Cobb, who remained in the show for four seasons. After he decided to leave the cast, the role was given significantly less screen time. John McIntyre, John Denner, and Charles Bickford tried to fill Cobb's shoes over the years, but none were successful. After Doug and James, Cobb had the most massive presence in the show, having been seen in 120, almost half of its 249 total episodes. Lee resumed his impressive career up until 1976, at which point he suddenly died at age 64 from a heart attack. He's buried in Los Angeles' Mount Sinai Memorial Park Cemetery. Elizabeth Granger is a character who showed up in 105 episodes of the show, portrayed by Sarah Lane in seasons 5 through 8. Although she enjoyed great success performing in The Virginian, Sarah never really continued with the momentum her career had at the time. With only one role preceding the series and three following it, all of which were in films, Lane and her five parts aren't normally the talk of the town, but it's still undeniable that she had the fourth greatest presence in the show. She is thought to be still alive in late 2022, at the age of 73, residing somewhere in the state of New York with her spouse and children. Mostly playing Emmett Riker, Clue Gulliger is the fifth most featured actor in The Virginian, with a presence totaling 104 episodes between 1963 and 1968. Like all of the great five excluding Sarah, he's no longer among the living. The actor passed away in the wake of an impressive career at the age of 93 on the 5th of August, 2022. All of the series' cast members are now either long retired or deceased. Some of the living include Randy Boone, who played Randy Benton in 70 episodes, Roberta Shore, who played Betsy Garth, also in 70 episodes, and Gary Clark, the man behind the character of Steve Hill, who was seen in 63 episodes. John McIntyre, who played Clay Granger in 65 episodes, passed away in 1991. His death was followed by that of Ross Elliott in 1999, Sheriff Mark Abbott in 61 episodes. A very early loss from the cast was Charles Bickford, who portrayed John Granger in 46 episodes of the show, who died in 1967. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.